so i have added cornstarch cinnamon and icing sugar and just heated the cherries up for a minute or two to just get the juices out and these are the cherries without the seeds so i did remove the cherries uh, the seeds it didn't come without the seeds but i removed it so yeah this is ready and i have my melted butter ready for the batter i have flour baking soda baking powder and icing sugar as well okay so i have the milk i'm going to add egg into it and we're going to whisk it really hard so we're going to whisk it and i'm going to be back after finishing this off camera it's completely ready i don't see any egg particles barely any so what i'm going to do is i'm going to mix this mixture into our drying mix until combined so i have the melted butter ready i have the mixture i have the as i'm going to take the cherry mixture and i'm going to do the same thing again i'm just going to pour it right on top okay so i have this ready so i'm going to pop it over to the oven for like 30 to 40 minutes and we're going to come back all right just two more minutes and it actually looks like a success for the first time you know okay this is ready let me take it out right so the cherry cobbler is ready you can see the cherries have uh, a beautiful blueberry kind of a feel and the color has changed okay so i took a couple of pieces out and i'm just going to go with my hands this is so yummy so delicious and it is so easy to make it's yummy merry christmas